Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks, and this is Beyond 100 Days of Making Comics, where I pick up where I left off on my 100 Days of Making Comics journey and uh, just continue to push along on my comic book, Young and the Dead. Two issues available right now on my website at CircWorks.com, issue one, issue two, and then some deluxe other alternative versions of the same book. It is a kids versus zombie story. It's kind of like a cross between Goonies and Night of the Living Dead. And uh, yeah, so uh, continuing to make progress. We're kind of in the home stretch now. I think I've got three pages more to go, pencil and ink, and then of course coloring and lettering and all that kind of thing. But uh, so let me show you what uh, what I've been doing as far on the comic book front. Um, so this I I think I showed most of this uh, last time, and uh, since I've got kind of the video going up here, that's the new thing that I've been doing for the past you know three two or three episodes. Um, but <laughs> last last I kind of forgot it was up there last time, so I'm showing up I'm showing artwork on the last episode and it's being obscured by the uh, little video up here so I'll try to uh, just put it up over my face <laughs> on this side so so I did show this particular page here um, last time but as I mentioned I was still working on a couple panels one was a perspective shot looking down sort of an arcade uh, one of the characters is pulling um, blinds up and then revealing that this arcade down below is just overrun with zombies and everything so uh, here you can see, here's that scene right there. Um, and then just a, a close-up. This one wasn't done before either. Just a close-up on this game. It's, it is either Tempest or similar to Tempest. Um, and the reason why I said that is because I don't... It's supposed to be like one of the end levels, and I don't really remember what, the, what one of the higher levels of Tempest look like. And so if somebody calls me on it, like, that isn't the highest level of Tempest, it looks like this or whatever, then I'll just say, well, it's not really Tempest, it's just something similar to it. And plus it's going to say game over, and I don't know that there's actually a, the word game over when you, when you eventually die in Tempest. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, but, so anyway, I mean, I, maybe I worry too much about things like that, the accuracy of... Uh, <laughs> you know, having certain things like that. But I tried to research it, and it's still, um, I wasn't really able to come up with anything. You search, you know, high level Tempest, highest level game over whatever um, top score, and it's that you get all these different images. So I don't know. Um, but anyway, like I said, maybe I'm overthinking things like that. But anyway, so, so there's a little game over screen right there. And then again, um, this scene. Now, this is something. I mentioned this before, I'd like to, if I go back and um, when I do the trade and everything, um, some of these scenes I might want to um, just have a, a more of a, I guess a lot of times when I'm moving on to other scenes, um, I really should do more of an establishing shot, and I, I tend to try to do that anyway, but like, uh, so for instance, I guess I haven't... Uh, I haven't repeated it from book to book, so when this is a trade, hopefully it'll all fit together. But um, for instance, at the end of issue one, and this is sort of spoiler territories if you haven't read it or whatever, but um, you find the kids are up in this treehouse, and they're uh, down below. You see they're looking down below, and then down, you know, down here are all kinds of zombies and stuff. So they're sort of trapped up in this treehouse. Um, when I moved on to issue two, I didn't really. I didn't really establish so much where they were again, and, um, and again, if this is a continuing story, maybe I don't have to worry so much about that, um, but, uh, you know, so we kind of, when we come back to them, um, we, we can kind of see the same, that they're in the same setting and everything, um, but, but I didn't really establish it again for the second issue, which I don't know. Maybe maybe I should have done that. But certain things like that, maybe I'll do when I do a trade. But then again, if it's a trade, you're reading it, you know, in order. You're not waiting for another issue. So a lot of that stuff I don't have to worry about. But these are some things I'm thinking about. Um, but yeah, that the one scene where they're kind of looking down that arcade. I really wanted to do this really cool arcade where you see all these old style games, and it would require a, sort of a bigger, almost like a splash page type thing. So, so I might go back when I when I once I finish all the single issues and and tweak some things around and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, those are just some thoughts on that. And then uh, let's see. So here's the other page that I that I worked on. I just kind of finished inking this one today, but again, um, 
nothing too exciting. We get, we're getting into some exposition here. Um, some of the, you know, what's going on with the zombies and everything, what they're all about. And yeah, so like I said, I got uh, three more pages to go. So I've been averaging, you know, a page and a half, two pages a week. Um, we'll see next week if I can get, I don't know if I'll get two pages done or not, or, you know, um, but at least a page, we'll see, you know, with all, I got some other stuff I'm trying to do. And, and the video editing is like taking chunks and chunks of my time. So, um, but hopefully I'm getting faster. I think when I edit this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like time myself and find out exactly how long it's taking me to do this. Um, and just, I'm going to try to streamline it as well as I can and still do, you know, still do the little window here of me drawing and stuff like that. Hey, now I, now I don't know when I showed, when I showed that last one, <laughs> I don't know if I showed it, if I did the same thing, I'm forgetting anyway, but I'll just show it to you again, just in case. Um, so yeah, so other than that, uh, still got, still doing the other videos, uh, the Fan Art Fridays. Uh, last week I did this one, uh. Twiggy from Buck Rogers. I don't know if you remember this guy. So that video is up there. And uh, I got a lot of positive response for this one, which I wasn't, I didn't think I would. Because uh, I'm doing more modern stuff. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if just a lot of the people that follow me, if it's in like an age thing, if they're kind of, I know when, I, when I'm on like Jeff Lafferty's Art Casters, a lot of the people that I comment, because we talk about stuff, you know, from when we were kids and, and things like that. So maybe a lot of the people that listen to that are sort of in our same age group and like younger people, maybe not so much. Um, I don't know. So I was, so maybe that's why this one went over so well, but you know, cause I'll do stuff more modern like Firefly and things. And I just thought, and I don't always get as big a response on that as I did this one. So that one, that one did kind of surprise me, but uh, so I figured why not keep up with that. So I'll give you a little, this is an inside scoop. This is a little preview of tomorrow's Fan Art Friday. Um, this guy from Black Hole Vincent, I'll be drawing him. Um, so yeah, you can, you'll be able to check that out. I should have a video up tomorrow of that. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. Other than that, what have I been up to besides the comic? And uh, I am, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm trying to uh, update my portfolio on my online portfolio. And because it's it's so out of date, uh, I've got a little gallery on my website, and uh, yeah, it's just some of the stuff I'm, you know, it's just not not always not like my best work, and I just need to update it. Or it's just uh, one of the things you'll you, you one of the things you hear nowadays. It's something that's kind of the sort of the new thing or the new ideal is that um, um, projects are the new resume. I don't know if you've heard that. Um, so instead of like single images, I want to, sh I want to kind of showcase projects like different projects, like a game project that I worked on. Um, and if you, if you, if you've ever been to like Behance, that's Adobe's sort of social network. Um, if you look at some of the artwork on there, it's really cool how they, how they display it because they don't just show you one image. They'll show you, they'll show you the image and then they'll show the pencil drawing of that image and how it comes to life and, and basically give you sort of just visually a rundown of that whole of the project itself not just the finished piece and I really like that so um, I'm gonna try to do that but it's gonna take a while because I have to go back and uh, you know go back through old sketches and then go into Photoshop and and kind of put together this this um, you know uh, visual representation of, of, of each of these projects so I'm starting to do that right now I'm just pulling different different uh, different projects out and putting them in folders and then I got to go in and do some stuff like that but uh, you know it's difficult because I've done a lot of work in game design and when you work in game design one of the weird things is that um, you're not it's usually a collaborative effort so when you're usually when you're showing somebody your work in game design you have to say well I did this you see all this other stuff I did this um, and I don't really like to do that. I'm kind of weird. Like when I show somebody my work, I want to say everything you see here, I did. So, I mean, I'll do things like if I work on, um, if I work on a game project, for instance, um, and then say somebody else is working on the backgrounds and I work on either the UI or, um, or the character design or whatever. Um, when I go to present it in my portfolio, I'll kind of take, <laughs> I'll take the background that somebody else did out and do my own. Just so I can say, you know, it might not be the exact final game, what, what appears in the final game, um, but I'll do that. And the other thing is, a lot of these game projects that I work on, you'll be working on them for like six months or whatever, a year, and sometimes they'll just cancel them and then never see the light of day. So a lot of this stuff's unfinished, so i got to go back in and fill the dots on a lot of these things. So that's kind of one of the things that I'm doing right now, but hopefully... Hopefully when I get all that done, I'll have a pretty cool uh, portfolio to show um, 
a lot better than what I have now anyway. Um, and then, uh, let's see, other than that, what's going on? Um, I'm going to pause this for a minute because I, I, uh, I had something else I want to talk about and I don't remember. So rather than just mulling it over my head till I figure it out what it is, I'll just come right back and tell you. Okay, I remember. <laughs> sometimes I'll put like notes out. What am I going to talk about today? And then sometimes I'll just do it like this and then I'll forget. Um, anyway, so the other thing I've been doing is uh, I have been uploading images and descriptions and things for a new Etsy store, which is live now. Um, so if you're interested in that, I've got some of like my bow ties and... Um, of course, my prints and, and all that kind of stuff, messenger bags and my little lab products. All that stuff is now available on Etsy, and I'll put a link in, my, in the comment section to that, or the description, I guess it's called. And uh, so that is up, and then I've been uh, updating, uh, like uh, I've got a Redbubble store too, and that's more like my pop culture stuff. So if you like, you know, stuff based on, you know, popular characters in pop culture. Um, I've got I've got some prints or not t-shirt designs and they've got a lot of new products out there like pillow cases and things like that so um, it took a while updating all that also uh, did a society six store so what I'm trying to do right now is just all these other avenues that hopefully rather than just concentrating on one I'm just gonna put it all out there and then if I you know <laughs> you know ten bucks maybe from this side a month another ten bucks or fifteen bucks or whatever you know uh, hopefully you know all that stuff will add up and it's just a little extra money you know it takes a little bit of setup it took a while I'm mean, pretty much all last week and I was setting up all these other stores but so yes yeah, society six red bubble uh, T public um, Etsy um, and then I've got to update my own store that's connected to my website which is uh, store envy store um, but yeah I'm gonna do all those and there's a few other ones I'm still looking at Threadless, they're, they should be rolling out their kind of print-on-demand uh, store, I think, I think in f the fall. So um, I got an invite, but then in order to do it early, kind of have, it's by invitation only. So I, I filled out a survey. They said, you know, if you fill out this survey, then you have a better chance of doing that. So we'll see if anything happens. Other than that, I'll just probably have to wait until, uh, wait till they go live with that. Um, so yeah, just setting up all these little stores. I mean, I've got a lot of products and things, but the, the, what I find out, what I find now is the difficult thing is to make these stores successful, you have to promote them, right? And when you have all these different stores and a lot of them, the same products, um, which one do you promote? Um, for me, per, for my benefit, the best ones to promote are the ones where I make a bigger commission off of. And it looks like this thread list might be as far as t-shirts go, they might have the best deal. Unfortunately, that, like I said, that's not even live yet or anything, so I'll have to see. So, which ones do I promote? I don't know. Right now, I'll just tell you if you're interested in any of this stuff, um, whatever one you're used to. Say, if you're, you know, a lot of these things you have to sign up for, you, I mean, or you log in to be a member or whatever. So, whatever platform you're on, whatever one you like the best, I guess that's where, you know, you would get something from me from if you're interested. Um, and uh, one thing I do have, though, is so I've got all these different stores and things. If you ever want to f know how to follow me on any s different social networks, what I'm on or whatever, and some I'm on more than others, like one thing like DeviantArt, I just kind of let fade away. Like the only thing I got on there is like some old game stuff and I really probably should update that. Um, so some, some of them are, <laughs> are more updated than others. Uh, but if you just go, if you go to my website, circworks.com, and then there's a contact section. It's just a link on the top that says contact. You click on that and it'll give you, of course, my email and all that. And it'll give you every single, you know, social network platform or uh, store that I'm on and everything. So, so that's a good way if you want to find that out. But like that, I think for the Etsy store and whatever, I'll also put that in the comment section. So anyway, that's what I've been up to, you know. Um, and man, it's, it's a lot of work setting up though. So hopefully it'll pay off in the long run, but we'll see. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's probably about all I'm going to talk about today. The hundreds are still going strong. Um, new people joining. Um, I don't remember the guy's name, but he's doing some really cool videos. Um, he just on a couple episodes. Some other people are winding down, but uh, maybe next time I'll, I'll talk more about that. And I think Peter Palmiotti said he was trying to compile a list of all the 100s or whatever, so we'll see. Um, I don't know if he's 
how far along he is with that or whatever. But uh, yeah, so 100s is going strong. Still encourage anyone who's watching these who may want to join the 100s. Um, it's been like a life-changing thing for me, so hopefully the same for you. Um, and it's really kind of kicked started this whole YouTube thing, and I'm, you know, slowly but surely I'm trying to build this thing up. And it takes a while, but you got to, certain things you got to kind of stick with. So I'm trying to up the production value and put out, um, I've been putting out like, three videos a week so we'll see if I can keep that pace I don't know exactly if I can but there'll definitely be two you know at the very least one video a week but I'm definitely no I, I really want to do no less than two but I'm I've been doing like three weeks so so yeah I'm, I'm super excited and I'm, I'm just anxious to see where I'll be like a year from now um, how it's gonna grow because I you know it does grow you just gotta kind of uh, <laughs> kind of stick it out and everything so we'll see but Got some good things planned that I'm working on, so now it's getting back. Hopefully, some of the commission work or the uh, you know client work is is kind of picking up again a little. So we'll see where I am, what I have time to do, and everything. So, anyway, that's what's going on with me. Um, thanks for following. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. And uh, yeah, you can check out some other videos up here. Um, yeah, some other drawing videos. I've got drawing videos. I've got my um, uh, uh, pro versus con, which um, that's getting a lot of lot of lot of uh, likes and things, and a lot of people seem to enjoy that. And I think it's more because it's it's actually more educational. You know, it's not just me tooting my own horn and showing my own work, but I'm trying to sort of give something back. And those videos seem to do pretty well. So the only problem is that I'm trying to figure out, uh, you know, what uh, what other topics to talk about because I've talked about a lot of this stuff. And I'm like, so if, if you have any uh, suggestions and things, questions about, uh, you know, going to cons and exhibiting at cons and things, uh, any topics you want me to talk about, uh, let me know and I'll try to get to those. But yeah, you can watch some of those videos over here. You can click on those links. And, uh, but yeah, getting the last one I did was like 10 tips to pricing and selling your artwork. So yeah, you might want to check that one out. That one, I, I think uh, that one came out pretty good and it's pretty, it's a little more concise than the other ones. Cause I actually, you know, had more of a plan going into it and everything. So, um, but they're all, I think they're all pretty good. They're all going to give you some information. Um, so yeah, again, thanks. Thanks for all this, the liking, the commenting, the followings and all the stuffs like that. So uh, I'll see you later. That is all.